tools. Oh, it's tools down. The whole island has come out. My, my good mate, Russell Speck, a uh, legend from the island, uh, has been in touch and said, everyone, all eyes are on the WSL. And, uh, you know, it's like when B. Derbage uh, was winning triple crowns and big titles, the whole island came out, and, and here's the next generation, Ethan Ewing. But with that tide coming in, and just as I thought, he's going to go. Yeah, Toledo. He pulls the trigger. It's a smaller ride, but he'll attack it. So swift in that rotation. Sticks the tail of the board in and goes to another one and just so on this morning. Imagine sitting out there in that cool water bugs for that extended period of time and then having the confidence to launch into a couple of rotations there. Where do you see this number going in the early stages? But let's see that opening right here, straight into the rotations. Yeah, and then this, you know, he's not going to make it to the bowl section. But that's a really clean rotation, done at speed. So it's a, it's a two progressive moves, straight up, nothing in between, Ronnie. This second one here, though, nailed it. A smaller right, Kaipo, but Felipe Toledo making good use of the limited sections on offer there. Wow, that was incredible. You know, that was just, when you talk about manufacturing stuff, that was a difficult, difficult wave. It was a closeout. He had such quick feet. He had to really force those air reverses, two of them. And it was just so challenging. It was so impressive of how Felipe Toledo was able to make something. Uh, look at the difference here. These, are a, these guys are a football field apart, Ronnie. Here goes Toledo from deep, deep inside. Can he make the run? To Bells, no, this is... Well, he's got a chance. He's going to go to the air. Doesn't complete the rotation this time. Looks like that wind's maybe kicked up just a little bit more. Ethan Ewing really putting his faith in the bowl. Uh, Felipe, on the other hand, it's just all light. He just takes off. He gets as much speed as possible, and he just unleashes. Here he is working one over. So keeping his board in the water a little more on this ride. A couple of decent turns. This is really just great small wave surfing. But again, you just get to appreciate just the variety in his manoeuvres. Always serves up something different on, on every approach to a strike. Painful to not see any sets at all come to the bowl. And Kale just saying that maybe, if anything, Ethan's been a bit too far out and uh, letting go of some small bowl waves. So we're seeing him go right now in the bowl, guys. Well, he's got a, a decent turn in already on this ride. And this is on the bowl section. Drifts that tail. So working it over, trying to manufacture a score. We'll have to wait and see how it stacks up against Felipe's ride. Uh, Philippe Toledo would completely change his strategy if he knew his opponent, uh, opponent didn't. This first turn's pretty clean. He comes around this section. This uh, last turn here, nice little snap in the pocket. Well, Toledo, yeah. now he's, he's made a move. Yeah, he's made a move, and this is his only chance. So that was to, that was to get out of check. That's all that was. 35 seconds to go. And you've got to say, Felipe, I don't think Ethan was ever going to juice a 7.3 out of that ride. So he has gifted him a bit of an opportunity here. Ethan's got to surf out of his skin. The crowd right behind him. The Australian in the semis. He's going to go down on that first float. So uh, a wave staff semi-final heat, but Toledo got the work done early. He's moving through to the final here at the 59th edition of the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach. Semi-two just around the corner.